Here I have for you guys a primal yoga flow. This is inspired by some primal movement that I've picked along the way. And it's for those of you that have experience in yoga and no injuries that affect your movement. For those of you that feel like you wanna shake things up a little bit and add some extra challenge and some creativity to your flows. So I'll introduce the moves and then we'll bring them together and put them into a flow. All right, so the first one is called a static beast also known tabletop with your knees lifted <laughs> so here when you lift the knees you're straight away activating into your core and you feel it <laughs> and the feet are hip width the hands are shoulder width keep nice and strong through your center body and use your breathing and we're just going to see if you can lift one hand and then the other hand but keep your body nice and still and stable and in the middle there will be a, uh, the kind of tendency to want to shift, resist that. Keep breathing and then we lift a leg, stay stable through the hands. Yeah, and then you can try opposite hand and foot. Balance, bring it down. Balance, make sure you keep breathing, bring it down. Give that a try. And then... The loaded beast is this position, but then you send the hips back and it's kind of loaded with potential movement. It, it has a feeling of a downward dog, but the knees are bent and the spine is long. And then from here, you unload the beast by kind of springing forward into a beast reach. And that kind of is a little bit like a plank. It's quite strong on the wrists and the shoulders. So see how you go. You can exhale back, inhale forward. Right, and so when you've got that really waking up your core, you can start to um, turn it into a more of a whole body wave. So when you're here in the, in the loaded beast, send your sit bones up, start to ripple through the spine in a wave unload, and then reload the wave. Inhale, active thighs, strong core. Exhale, lead with the tailbone and then ripple through the spine all the way to the crown of the head. And if you like, when you've got the hang of that, you can reverse it so you come back the other way. Bend the elbows and circle back. It's just something else to try. Feels good. All right, so stay in. Uh, let's take that loaded beast to come into the static beast from here. We'll step forward into a lunge. Ready? The right foot steps to the outside of the hands. Uh -huh. And the back knee, actually it can be a bit bent. And keep that potential there. Bring it back. Left foot to the outside of the hands. Bring it back. Right foot. Bring it back. Really light on your feet and really grounded in your hands. <sighs> Breathing smoothly. Keeping the heat. And then we can try switching. So your shoulders are over the wrist, you lighten the hands. And that is a really nice warm up. <laughs> Take a little rest into child's pose to re release out your wrists. Because you're definitely going to be warming up from there. I'll add a kind of like a, a few more moves on now. So from the static beast, you step the right foot forward and bring the right hand, the right elbow up over the face and then take it down and step back to static beast. Left side, steps, take the left hand up, elbow sweeps across the face. And a lot of these movements, they've come from martial arts like capoeira. So there's this sense of like defense where you're covering your face. And it's really lovely to, to fuse the different movement disciplines together for that multi Discipline approach to movement. Inhale, step forward, exhale, elbow drives back. Right, bring the knees down, take a rest on your wrist. Next up, you're gonna have some fun now. Trust me, it's six rotations round. You, there'll be a moment when you're halfway round where you'll feel like, oh God, I'm gonna basically never make it back to the front of the mat. <laughs> but you do. So from here, you swing your knees, from your static beast to the right, back to the middle, to the left, to the right, to the left. So you're used to doing that. And then you go to the right, 
knees to the right, right hand lifts, and then you're coming into like a reverse tabletop position, and then take the left arm up, and then make another static beast. Two, and then coming up, reverse tabletop, three, going in a circle, static beast, four, reverse tabletop, five, static beast, roughly six, <laughs> back to where you started. You can lead and go round the other way just to make sure you've got the hang of it. So swing the knees to the left, take your left arm up, reverse tabletop, one movement, static beast, two movements, reverse tabletop, three movements, four movements, will I make it back? Five movements, reverse, tabletop, static beast, roughly back, yeah. Okay, so another move from the loaded beast, so send your hips back with the arms straight. Come forward into beast reach, step, lunge, the right arm comes up, now look at that space behind you. Let's front kick into it. So bring the left leg forward and in the front. Now take it back. Right foot backs, and you're in that base position of static beast. Left foot, step it forward. Right foot, send it through, front kick. And just try that a few more times. So always returning to that foundational static beast. Front kick, front kick. Watch out, front kick. Front kick, and the more practice you get, the more kind of light on the feet and precise with your hand placements. All right, last, well, two more moves to learn from here. Side kick, so remember in that uh, static beast, send the knees to the right. Now this time, left kick, to, uh, kick to the side with your left leg. All right, static beast, kick to the right. Left. Leg through, right leg through. Try that a few times so you've got it in your muscle memory. And then the last move, you can go from here. It's that reverse tabletop position. Crab reach. So this time you take one arm off and the arm comes up and over and bring it down. Try the other side and over. So all of these movements together are gonna come into a really nice, creative flow that will just really bring them alive. Have a little rest now and prepare for putting the, the moves together into a flow. So we are going to start in static beast. So tabletop, lift the knees, take a breath. As you exhale, loaded beast. As you inhale, right foot steps into a lunge, reach the arm out of the way, front kick with your left leg coming through. Take that left leg back into the static beast. Now bring the right foot and side kick it over to the left. Bring it through and spin into a reverse tabletop. Crab reach, inhale. Exhale, turn and face down. Come back into static beast to downward um, dog-like position in this uh, loaded beast and then ripple the spine forward and unload the wave and bring it back. Left foot steps forward, lunge, the left arm comes back. Exhale, spin that right wrist to send the right leg through into a front kick. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, side kick, your left leg goes off to the right. You can place it down, right hand comes down, reverse tabletop and then crab reach, the left arm comes over. Exhale, bring it down. Spin it back around, and then we'll just try it one more time around both sides. So wave the spine forward, inhale, plank, goes into that wave unload. Step the right foot forward, right arm comes up. Front kick, left leg through. Static beast, side kick, right leg goes through. Plant the foot down, place the hands down, crab reach. Bring it back the way you went in, static beast. Wave through the spine, inhale, send it back, exhale. Left foot steps forward, left arm up, spin the right wrist. Front kick, exhale, static beast. Send the left leg into a side kick to the right. Place it down, place the hand down. Crab reach, the left arm comes up and the hips come up. Exhale, bring it down, spin it around. And then this time walk your hands back into a 
what is called a squat, but also known as an ape squat. The feet go down and the arms can reach forward. And there you have it, just something else to try. Why not? You might want to watch it a few times first to really get a visual of the movement patterns, but soon you'll be able to pick it up and build it into your yoga practice.